Hello everybody, this is Admiral Nuker here bringing you game two of the High School StarCraft Team League between Evanston and Hinsdale Central. Now, for those of you who didn't see the first game, go back and see it now. I will give you five seconds. Oh, okay. Um, now, for those of you who didn't see... <laughs> sponsored by Mr. Brig, that's funny. For those of you who didn't see the first game, Twitchy took it in fairly convincing fashion against Krylogique. Uh, Krylogic sort of wasted some structures and altogether didn't played pretty sloppily. At the same time, however, Twitchy didn't really expand and he didn't capitalize on his advantage. He just kind of made more roaches. The map is Crevasse, which is an interesting map. It was played. It was in the map pool early in the beta. You have a pretty close third, relatively speaking, or it's not exactly close, but it's extremely far from your opponent. Then it has a natural fourth which is gold and then your fifth is actually right here so you could in theory as a zerg just creep the whole half of the map and not actually and just put roaches right here and you would defend everything i'm actually going to be seeing a zerg versus zerg between scv king prime and for those of you who don't know mr brig is a uh, awesome physics teacher at our school um and still central for the win. So SCV King Prime is going to be playing Twitchy. Twitchy won the first game, as already mentioned, and SCV King Prime is going to get relatively early gas. Uh, gas before pool, unless he's going to cancel it for the extractor trick. Neither player has drone scouted yet, and actually Twitchy is going directly for pool after gas, getting it a little bit earlier than SCV King Prime. Let's open up the production tab, and let's get their name panels. Perfect. So right now we have... Uh, Twitchy having a later pool uh, than SCV King Prime. Uh, actually, it's looking like SCV King's Prime is slightly later. Uh, also, for some reason, SCV King Prime not making drones because he's out of larva, obviously. So now on this map, it's very uh, it's very macro friendly considering how many expansions there are before you actually have to start competing with your opponent. And these Delnaga towers cover everything. This is very good for Zerg, and is interesting for Zerg versus Zerg. So it looks like SCV King Prime is going directly for Zergling speed, then pulling everybody off. Getting his queen will probably get his expansion at around the 4 minute mark. While uh, it also appears that Twitchy is doing the identical thing, except just a little bit quicker. Uh, however, Twitchy is also then going into Roche Warren, which is very interesting, and I don't quite think this Roche Warren is Manor, but it may be. Manor is when you block off your um, harvesting with a friendly building. So, uh, as I said, Twitchy is getting his uh, upgrades just ever so slightly faster than SCV King Prime. Um, and he's also getting a Roach Warren, which is very interesting, and someone annoyingly is pinging down there. However, SCV King Prime is getting his up or is getting his expansion up faster. And here's some Zerglings at play. Let's watch them playing tag. Oh, aren't they adorable? Kudos for anyone who gets that reference. Uh, and not quite blocking one off, so good scouting there. If we actually go to the units tab, we'll see each player has four Zerglings. Twitchy has two fewer, uh, actually three fewer drones now, and they both players have a queen. So right now, I would say SCB King Prime is in the lead, uh, although this uh, Twitchy does have a much quicker Roach Warren. SCB King Prime is uh, has an earlier expansion, and really early game you can especially with speed you can pump out enough zerglings with a queen to handle any roach aggression however we are still gonna see uh do these guys have speed yeah they have speed so we are actually gonna see twitchy attempt some aggression right here with zerglings and roaches or it might just be with zerglings uh nearly getting surrounded there both players assuming that they got speed first both players assuming this wrongly uh the roach warren is now up for scb king prime and these are really getting so much valuable scouting information and may actually escape. We also have a pair of four Zerglings down here to move about the back door and start working down these rocks. Back in Twitchy's base, Twitchy is forgetting to inject larva. Shame on him, nor is he building any queens. Uh, I think Twitchy may be feeling a little bit overconfident from his last game, and he may be forgetting his fundamentals, or he might just be microing at that moment. Let's actually go to Twitchy's cam, and let's see how much of the map is covered by this Zelnaga Watchtower. Look at that. All the way over here, you can cover every attack route in the game with that map, or with that tower. Uh, here's something always fun to watch, Zergling versus Zergling, and now it's Zergling Roach versus Zergling Roach. However, if we look at the production tab, which is just a great estimate uh, to determine 
how each player is doing, we'll notice that uh, Twitchy is only making workers, while SCV King Prime is making Lair, Gas, Roaches, as well as a Queen. So we see SCV King Prime just spending a little bit more of his time and money and effort. Uh, then, uh, so an earlier layer is extremely important in Zerg vs. Zerg because it can allow you to get Mutas up, which are great, and can force Hydras, which then get destroyed by Banelings, or it can allow you to get Roach speed as well as plus two, plus two ups. Uh, we also see upgrades, or, uh, evolution chambers, pardon, coming down for SCV King Prime. Uh, no upgrades as of yet from Twitchy, and he is also, again, forgetting to inject Larva, but he did have a great round of droning just now. This is a very defended front. I would have actually liked to see a roach wall there and then speed zerglings here to prevent any attacks directly on the front and then speed zerglings uh, can pretty handedly deal with the side. But, I mean, each player to his own. We are now seeing SCV King Prime get his fourth gas while Twitchy is still on just one gas. Uh, Twitchy is also only getting one evolution chamber, so this double upgrade, uh, listen, Krylogic, uh, when you have two upgrade structures, you use both of them. Don't just have one because it looks pretty, but, I mean, it does look pretty. Uh, I mean, look at it, it's pulsating and glorious. Uh, however, if you, if you use it, then it actually is useful. So, when you do make two structures, just try to remember to use them. Uh, at any rate, this is going to mean a dramatic advantage over the other Zerg player who is just now getting his second forge. So plus one attack is going to finish, and he's going to have plus one attack for about uh, 80 seconds, along with plus one armor is going to be even more than that. Uh, we also, these Zerglings could just kill those, uh, and we just saw that. We are actually seeing some nice Zergling posturing back and forth. All right, I don't think it's very good that neither player has taken a third yet. This one is over here, and if you were to get two queen, two extra queens, maybe, because now that you're on lair, oh, he's going for an infestation pit, good boy. Uh, Super-powered infestors are what they are now. They have no direct counter and are great against everything. I don't mean they're overpowered. I think Zerg deserves a power unit. They need a unit that can, you know, actually win them a game by itself, because Terran and... Protoss both have that, and the um, the Infester is that, but right now an Infestation Pit is, it because it doesn't have a direct counter, but it also doesn't directly counter anything, You it's not really a reaction to make, it's just sort of a, okay, you have to know it, you have to, uh, you have to position your units accordingly. Uh, so, therefore, it, Twitchy, let's look at Twitchy's vision, he has not scouted once since he saw the expansion, which is very bad. But we also see Twitchy getting uh, an, ex an infestation pit as well. However, uh, SCB King Prime is taking his third base. This is promising considering the fact that the first player to have their third is generally doing the best. And we see Pathogen Glands coming out for SCB King Prime. Uh, Pathogen Glands, of course, being the um, Infestor energy upgrade, and it is crucial. However, if we look at the units tab, we see Twitchy actually three drones ahead of SCV King Prime, and I would like to see those three drones. Uh, I'd like to see SCV King Prime do a round of droning as soon as these infestors pop out, because those infestors are going to protect him for a pretty long time, and therefore a round of droning would be smart. Um, also, Overlord spread, not great for either player. Uh, let's just look at that. I mean, sure, uh, that's decent, but I'd like to see a bit better Overlord spread. And we still see this good Zergling posturing. Zerglings are almost free. They cost 25 minerals each. That is the amount of an extract, or that's less than an extractor. So Zerglings are essentially free, and they're super fast, making them perfect scouts. Um, we also see this Zergling sneaking there in the side. Uh, sh should yes, good. So that shows you how important it is to have strong map vision. We also see a group of Zerglings coming over here for a counterattack. Uh, uh, let's look at these evolution chambers. We have plus one attack done and plus one carapace on the way. Well, these evolution chambers are researching plus two, plus two. That is uh, very much in SCV King's prime favor, and the longer this match goes on, the greater that advantage is going to become to a point. I have actually played a lot of games, especially recently, where I'll get on 3-3 th three, three ups around like fourth base, 15 minute mark, and then I the game goes on, and my eventually he gets on 3-3 upgrades as well and then it's not pretty you want to use your advantage however generally an upgrade advantage is uh, it, it lasts longer than other advantages 
Now, positionally, Zerg versus Zerg is really interesting because everything is so fast and nothing is immobile. I mean, Infestors are kind of immobile and Queens are immobile off Creep. Because Creep is shared, and by the way, Orange's Creep spread is terrible, uh, if we look at the Queen numbers, I'd like to see both these players getting a lot more Queens. Queens are amazing in every way. And, um... Just having some extra queens to spread creep, especially with infestors. Infestors need creep to be useful. So, um, therefore, I'd like to see a queen or two devoted just to creep spread. Uh, queens are really cheap. They cost the same amount as six zerglings, which is nothing. Uh, and these zerglings should actually be able to take this expansion really easily. But this, imagine if these two had been joined by creep, then it would have been no time at all. Um, also, uh, oh, these rocks aren't down. Uh, once you get up to Lair, you're going to want to get Roach Speed, uh, and if you're going Roach Infester, get Burrow. I mean, both of those, uh, those upgrades are helpful for everything. And just imagine how few workers or queens he would have lost had these two expansions been joined by Creep. But you'll live and you'll learn. So let's go back and let's check Orange. Orange has um, plus two, plus one. He is sitting on Lair. He has three queens for three bases. He has uh, eight more or seven more workers than Pink, which is good. But he has almost pure Roach, while um, pure Roach and two Infester. Uh, he, actually, Pink has a two Infester or has a two Roach, uh, five Infester advantage. So we are actually going to see an attack by Pink here, and this may just be a just game deciding right here. Like, uh, I do wonder, could you neural parasite? another person's infester and then use it to fungal growth their own army i mean i feel like it'd sort of defeat the par purpose but it'd be hilarious like just to steal someone's infester so they can't fungal growth yours that'd be great sorry about that the blackhawks game was going on and so i watched the um the penalty shot so coming back into this we're seeing some jockeying for positioning here and it's there is not a single area besides drones where uh, twitchy is an advantage I actually like this, leaving these infestors behind because they can fungal and run away. So good early fungal growth there, and now we get to see Roach Infestor versus Roach Infestor. Uh, and great fungal growth right there, it's all across the board. Puts everything down, and then some infestor turns for good measure. And the Roach, his Roaches were up on upgrades anyway, so this should be an interesting, almost literal mirror match going on. Uh, now we see just a bunch of roaches versus a bunch of roaches with an infestor into it. Uh, in the meantime, back at Pink Space, I'd like to see him expand in this situation because you might as well make yourself even more ahead. Good pulling back there at the infestors. Uh, Alright, uh, Twitchy does have pathogen going and can therefore uh, just hatch infestors and really use them. However, in, at this point, I think think SCB King Prime is just too much ahead. I mean, look at the food differential. Uh, it's about 80, now 90, almost 100 food there for a second advantage here for Pink. And Orange is just kind of trying to do anything he can. Oh, nice fungling of the, uh, the drones. Oh, they're only drone. Uh, and then a few roaches can take all this off. And he's actually going back to finish the other expansion, Smart Move. And there, Twitchy GG's. So that was the second game in the TSL. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and this has been Admiral Newkirk.